your local weather authority. Always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. Pretty cloudy this afternoon. We've had off and on showers this afternoon. Some of the rain actually falling pretty heavily, especially as you head further to the south and to the east. So south side right now seeing some pretty heavy downpours out across say, parts of Campbell, also Pennsylvania, Halifax, and soon even into Charlotte counties. This all, it's all moving to the north at a clip of around about 20 to 30 miles per hour, and these rain chances are going to stay with us here off and on throughout tonight and start to end for us come tomorrow morning. Future tracker showing that by 11, the mountains will have some scattered rain showers around, no doubt, but the heaviest rain around 11 or midnight will likely be towards our eastern areas over towards the Lynchburg area, over towards the south side area. The zones that will likely see the heaviest rain tonight will be east of the parkway. So again, we're expecting to see perhaps upwards of an inch of rain into our southeasternmost counties, maybe a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch of rain into our westernmost counties. Notice that by 4, 5, 6 a.m. It's still going to be raining, but the rain's going to start to let up a little bit. Even at 8 a.m. tomorrow, we're going to have some lingering showers around. Anything we see tomorrow morning will be very light. By lunchtime tomorrow, I think we're for the most part dry, and by the afternoon tomorrow, we will see the triumphant return of sunshine. Even as we head into tomorrow night, skies are really nothing worse than partly cloudy. And then we turn our attention to yet another storm system. <laughs> that one's going to impact us here late Friday, Friday night, into at least part of the day on Saturday. It's going to bring us some heavier rain. It's also going to allow for uh, more cloud cover across the region as well. But I will tell you that as we look into Saturday, we're still forecasting highs to hit the upper 60s to near 70. So as the rain pulls away Saturday afternoon, temperatures will continue to skyrocket. So overall, it looks like Saturday is going to be a pretty warm day for us. Sunday, we're going to be drier, but on Sunday, temperatures may start to drop off just a little bit. So temperatures stand for us right now, 49 in Withfield, 54 in Blacksburg, 58 in Roanoke, but you're 67 in Lynchburg, 57 in Danville. Simply put, where it's rained, it's cooler. Where it hasn't rained much, it's a little bit warmer and the jet stream is such that we're going to stay on the warm side here for the uh, next couple of days at least. Now the jet stream may take a little dip as we head into Sunday, allowing for temperatures to cool off a little bit, also allowing for us to turn a little less humid, but that's a very short lived cool down as the mercury starts to spike again as we head into next week. So for tonight, rain moves through on seasonal warmth. Overnight lows tonight, 46 to like 54. Three days zone by zone forecast showing highs in the 60s, mid to upper 60s for the next three days in the NRV. Highlands are going to have a couple of rain chances here for the next couple of days, so uh, keep your umbrella handy, certainly poncho too. South side, your warmest days will come on Friday and Saturday with highs in the middle 70s. Now for Lynchburg, temperatures are in the middle 70s Friday and Saturday, down into the low to mid 60s on Sunday, back into the 60s and 70s as we head into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. For the Roanoke Valley, you're looking at the chance for rain tonight into tomorrow morning, then another chance for rain late Friday, Friday night into early Saturday, and then another chance for rain as we head into next Wednesday. Looks like Sunday and Monday, though, look like very pretty days to be outside.